We all have dreams, and dreams sometimes come true. But how often does that happen? Only time will tell, and the work that goes into it. While most sit around and wait for a dream to come true, there are those that go out and make it happen through sacrifice, determination, and hard work. Every great dream begins with the dreamer, and the courage to pursue it can take them a long way. This is Cardinal Basketball. St. Brother Andre has been known for its dominance in the sport of basketball, and over the years they have had very successful seasons. This year, the senior boys basketball team has high hopes as they try to continue the school's legacy by winning the YRA championship. This documentary will focus on the ups and downs and their journey through it all. Um, I'm very excited for this season, you know. Uh, we have a lot of talent on this team and I just can't wait until we're going to be able to gel together and see exactly what we're going to be able to produce uh, on the, the big stage, which is the court, uh, during game time. Um, my hopes for this team is that uh, we learn how to be more aggressive, you know, more pesky. We're kind of a small team and undersized, so uh, it would be a, very helpful if we, we learn how to, you know, be more aggressive and have that demeanor as in, like, you know, we want to win the ball, we want the ball more, and just play our heart out. That's all I'm hoping for. <laughs> I felt like the game was was competitive, but however, I felt as a team, we could have played better. I felt like if we understood the moment while in the game or before the game, I think we would have performed better, even though it still ended up in a win. I felt like the fans and people who came out to watch us didn't really see what we truly were capable of, and we're definitely capable of doing more. And that's just the one thing that I regret or one thing that I feel like we should have changed and we should have been more prepared for um, for the, the actual for the actual game. So that's how to, that's my thoughts on it. After the bio game, the team was motivated to have a great season. But due to lack of commitment and work ethic, the team started off the season poorly, losing the first two games in blowout losses. We agreed upon a common goal. You guys told me you wouldn't show up late to practice anymore. You guys told me you'd, everyone would be there. You guys told me you'd give energy and give it your all now. Because you guys, you guys said we want to win. The boys' uh, ball team have practiced every day, five days a week at uh, 7.15. And uh, I know that I have to wake up at 6 o'clock. And just because uh, the time's so early, I think men's aren't showing up. And it's really affecting our team and uh, our commitment, but uh, the practices we have are effective if everybody shows up and it's not happening. Um, I think the team needs uh, a lot more dedication. Uh, we're missing people who have morning practices. Um, you know, just, it's not always the full team there. Very rarely is it that we have every single person on the team coming for morning practice practices. And not everyone knows all the plays. Uh, I feel like if we came together like that, we'd know how to play smarter we'd be able to have better open shots. And so I think that's one thing, just more practice as a team. It's not over. You get the two on your back quick, right? So I want you working hard. Mr. Moore's such a great guy, yo. Like, in my four years of knowing Mr. Moore, he's been such a supportive guy. You know, he thinks bigger than basketball. You know? He wants everyone to grow personally. He wants everyone to grow as a basketball player. And he just wants, you know, wants to get dubs. You know, he's, he's he just strives for greatness. and. He's like a leader, you know? He's not a coach, you know? He doesn't have the loudest voice, but he has the loudest voice in terms of trying to get the message across to all the players, so he's a great guy. As the team continued to struggle, many players believed that the season was over for them and that it was too late for them to succeed. But with the adjustments to the roster and the coaching staff, the season was looking very bright for the senior boys basketball team. With the help of Coach Rob and the return of Mason, the team started to improve, and because of that, they started to win. 
uh, something Coach CJ always talked about was the hit factor. It's just something you can't turn on. Before Mason came back, I feel like we were missing that, like as a team. But once Mason came, like we all felt this motivation, and like we all felt this passion to win. Like he brought a lot to the team when he came back, and like the first game he played, we saw the hit factor, and that was pretty cool. And I think he made that much of a difference to us. Like we started winning games once he came back. From the Harlem Globetrotters yeah. JD gonna lead us to a ring Fab and Bow Wow's the only players That make cheerleaders wanna sing The Cardinals take on their rival school Father Michael McGivney This is by far the most important game of the year Because BA hasn't beaten them in years We faced FMM a couple times before, and um, those times we didn't do as well as a team. But yesterday I played harder than before, and we really changed as a team on our approach to facing them. However, in the end, we lost by one point. Uh, there's there are like a lot of easy buckets we missed, but um, I feel like we could have just worked harder just to finish those buckets, and we could have easily won that game. The season. You know, in the beginning of the season, we had our rough patches, but as the season started to progress, we started to get a hang of things. You know, our defense started to be uh, better and sharper. Our offense started to flow more. We should have gone undefeated this team uh, this year, and I know everyone feels that way as well. We started off very weak. I think we got three L's in a row, and then uh, the coaches started bossing up. And we started being a bit more serious. I've seen a lot of improvement from the start to the beginning. Uh, in the beginning, we were not playing as a team. We never had any chemistry, but near the last couple of games, we saw our team grow together, and um, yeah, we really improved a lot from the start. So, you know, going into playoffs, I feel like uh, we're very close to optimizing our full potential as a team, and we're just going to get better from now on. We just have to put our heart out. This is going to be some of the hardest games we're going to be facing. So, yeah, we just have to play our hardest from now on. I think it's just very important for us to, to just give it our all because, you know, a lot of players on the team, you know, have been playing basketball their whole lives. And, you know, I'm not saying that anyone's going to go to the NBA, but it doesn't really give us an excuse to not go hard all the time. There is no such thing as a loss. 
there are either wins or lessons. Although the team didn't achieve everything they wanted this season, they all learned and gained a better knowledge of the game. And as the playoffs are rapidly approaching, the team holds their heads high in hopes of achieving their goal of winning the YRA championship. Yo, Mark, play some defense. <laughs> I, I Yo, have some life in you, bro. What's wrong with this guy? He has no energy. Mark.